Hi, I'm Kelly Holmes, the National School Sport Champion. Sometimes worries about safety can compromise the way PE and sport are taught, but there's no need for that to happen. In this programme, you'll see that safe practice is easy to achieve and makes for better lessons too. Teachers' worries about safety in PE and school sport are widespread and exacerbated by media coverage. But they're largely misplaced. If physical education and sport are well taught, the risks are few and far between. Health and safety executive statistics indicate that more serious incidents occur in the classroom and non-sporting environments than in PE and school sport. The key is managing the risks that do exist by following a few basic guidelines. Broomleys, a large primary school in Colville, Leicestershire, with 570 pupils on roll. Who could have performed in a Tudor time? Ladies and girls. Ladies and girls. Girls, you would not have been able to perform in a Tudor theatre. Newly qualified teacher Jeanette Lathbury has been at the school for eight months. She's confident in the classroom. But when it comes to teaching gymnastics, she feels she lacks training and experience. We had approximately four to six hours of gymnastics training throughout the whole three-year course that I did. There were no children brought into the actual college. We um, had some activities where we had to instruct other adults to, as if they were children, but there were no children actually brought into the college. It's worrying um, whether you can remember everything that you were taught at college and having never had the training with the children, it's whether you can implement it successfully and whether the children will behave when it's not their turn to be with you. But the concerns of Jeanette and teachers like her are now more easily addressed than in the past because Broomleys is part of the North West Leicestershire School Sport Partnership. The infrastructure it provides is proving invaluable. Not only do we have a PE coordinator, but we also have a primary link teacher. And through um, the work which they do, we have access now to a range of sporting um, institutions, a range of sporting bodies who we can call on to um, come and work in school with us. And in that way, hopefully giving children a good grounding for the future. Across the partnership, primary teachers are being offered training in teaching gymnastics. They get coaching for lessons and support with after-school clubs. Today, Hazel Colton, the senior coach at Colville Gymnastics Club, has come to Broomleys to work with Jeanette. Okay, joining us today, we've got a special guest, we've got a special helper coming in, and her name's Hazel Colton. Prior to today's session, the two women have already discussed what Jeanette wants to learn, and they've planned the lesson in detail. Planning is one key to safety, because it helps to anticipate risks and find ways to deal with them. Excellent. Well, we'll have some lo lots of fun today, don't worry. But you've got to stay away from somebody who is close to you. If you can touch them when I shout stop, I get a point. And if you can't touch them when I shout stop, you get a point. But I'm going to win. OK? Am I going to win, Amy? Yeah, all right then. OK, walk, please. Jeanette's already at ease with some of the fundamentals of safe practice. She's ensuring her pupils use their space with care, and she's positioned herself in a good place to observe the whole class. OK, that's two points to you, but I'm definitely going to get you this time, because it's a lot harder. Run, please. And you're going to stretch over as far as you can go. So sometimes for a safety point, it's, it's nice More if they actually leave, lean on their leg or their hip just to help them get back up. As the class moves onto some stretches and balances, Jeanette taps into Hazel's expertise. How are your views on the bobbing when you get into the position to bob to stretch a bit further? Don't like that at all. No. It's called ballistic stretching and basically what happens is it can cause small tears inside the muscle. Right. So I like slow, static, progressive stretching. Okay. It's perfect for gymnastics. Am I right in saying, Hazel, that the legs should be 
as, as vertical as they can yes, to make they, them to be... That's right. They should have... If you imagine that you, you're looking at their centre of mass or their balance point mm -hmm. being central to the contact with the floor, so if they keep their legs just a little bit further back, then they should be able to control it more. The more she goes over, the more the centre of balance moves towards the neck, mm -hmm. and that's something we want to avoid, so we want to keep them lovely. nice and balanced over here. So that's lovely. I bet you want to get down there, don't you? Well, oh, right. well done. <laughs> okay, good. you can come down some other Shoulders over the hand. Hazel is very clear about her role in any class where she's working with the teacher. What I don't want to get dragged into is running the whole lesson because basically that's not what I'm about. I, I am not a teacher and I don't want to teach them how to teach. I am a gymnastics technical expert and I want to give them knowledge and understanding that they will be able to take away and use within their curriculum lessons. Put that head up a little bit. Count to three and then when you've counted to three, jump, join together and jump off the mat. So, after her session with Hazel, how does Jeanette feel? Good girl, I not too bad. Really good. I've gained a lot more experience um, having working with Hazel, a lot more confidence as well about that actually what I was doing was okay, but also some areas that where I could improve my teaching of gymnastics. <laughs> Training aimed at teachers of gymnastics is only part of what keeps Broom Lee's pupils safe. This curriculum tennis lesson with a specialist coach gives the children expert input. Let's see if you can go on top of them. Let's try and keep it steady. Try and keep it steady. Hey, that's super effort. Well done. Just as importantly, it enables the teacher to monitor and assist more pupils and develop her own skills for teaching tennis safely. Go! Go! Well done! My role here at Broom Lees is to make sure that the ch children have a well-balanced PE curriculum, that the staff are able to deliver and feel confident to do that, that um, a wide variety of extracurricular activities are offered too, um, sometimes to offer inset to staff who are not so confident or have not been trained in any particular area. That's my job. Thanks to the local school sport partnership, staff competence and confidence have also been boosted by attending a health and safety risk assessment course and a range of modules from the National PE and School Sport Professional Development Programme. Go! Woo! Nearly! We nearly had two! Well done! Keep your balance. Broom Lees also has a large sports field. Although it's fenced off, members of the public often throw litter that's a potential hazard. I have on occasion found broken bottles and uh, tin cans, particularly when the mower's been round. Some of them are very hard to spot, so you've got to be very vigilant and you've got to look hard um, because they are potentially very dangerous. Um, so we have to pick the cans up too. We always do a check of the field before the children use the field. The checks result from another key part of the safety strategy at Broom Lees, carrying out risk assessments for all activities off-site and on-site, right down to something as simple as using the sports field. We go out, look at the area, and we write down any risks that might happen. Um, so a stick on the field, what might happen with that stick on the field, the child might fall over, and therefore what would happen from that, what would you do? And then in your mind's eye, Although you know you'd know, it's there clear in writing and it's, it's kind of there in black and white for everybody to see that that's what you do and it's a lot clearer in your head that you know the children are going to be absolutely safe because you know the consequences of what could, could happen. Never does, but could happen. It's forethought like this that ensures the field is a great resource, not a potential hazard, so these pupils can enjoy their run. Another component of the school's approach to safety is informing and involving the children themselves, whatever their age. So, look at the apparatus today. Slightly different. We've had to squash it into the middle of the hall because of the stage. So you have to be very careful. No running, no shouting. Teaching the children to understand the importance of warming up, cooling down, and the safe use of space and equipment are all part of the process. How do you land on your knees? On your knees. Do you land on your bottom? No. Do you land on your knees? No. Foundation stage coordinator Sue Cornell has three decades of teaching experience 
so she's seen time and again the value of high quality physical education. You might need to tell him when he gets to the end. Could you just tell him when he gets to the end so he doesn't fall off? You're nearly at the end. The skills in the big hall really are the big motor skills, the gross motor skills um, for walking and balancing, travelling under and through, and climbing. Um, obviously the P ones of landing safely and hoping they're not going to land on everybody else. <laughs> Being aware of space and other children really in the big hall. And it's vital to teach good quality movement right from the beginning because good movement is safe movement. Sue also knows that differentiation is crucial both for learning and for safety. Very good. Well done. Now go and see if you can do it all by yourself. The key to a successful PE lesson for a lot of children is that you give them something that they can succeed at. So there was a lot of apparatus, but there was a lot of entry points for them and exit points. So some children can't jump off, so if they didn't want to jump off a piece of apparatus, they could slide down a piece of apparatus. Um, on the big silver A-frame, if they didn't want to go across the top of the silver A-frame, they could go under it. So we never insist that they do anything. They just do what they feel confident and capable of doing. And I think that is a successful PE lesson because they can all succeed in it. And a safe one as well, because they will only go as far as their limits will take them. Oh, wow, well done. So I feel that the risks in PE are very minimal because children will only do what they feel safe doing. So accidents are very, very rare. Um, sometimes they graze elbows, graze knees, but those are just every, everyday accidents. The pupils at Broomley's still suffer little bumps and bruises and playground cuts and grazes that are part and parcel of being active, healthy children. But a range of strategies helps keep them as safe as possible. Professional development boosts safety, competence and confidence. Risk assessments and good lesson planning bring clarity. Lessons are differentiated, promoting inclusion. And all pupils learn about and understand safe practice. It's only been eight months since the start of the North West Leicestershire School Sport Partnership Drive to improve gymnastics teaching in PE and after-school clubs. Like Jeanette, many teachers have found a new confidence and enthusiasm for the sport, so much so that 75 children from 10 schools are attending an inter-schools beginners competition at Colville Gymnastics Club. It's a proud moment for everyone who's worked so hard to promote and support gymnastics in local schools. The enthusiasm of the children, staff and parents is obvious. While the scores are added up, experienced club gymnasts give a display. Club gymnastics is very different from national curriculum gymnastic activities, but with more confident, competent gymnastics teaching in local schools, the young competitors have had a good grounding, and that could be the start of something big. Who knows, 2012 might be a little early, but 2016, there may be somebody you've seen this afternoon that could be competing in those Olympic Games.